Well, you guys, today we're taking a look at how to see who's connected to your Wi-Fi network and also how can you block them. So let's go ahead and take a look at a local network and see what devices are connected. This is quite important because quite a few people have a lot of devices nowadays connected to their Wi-Fi network. So the first thing to do is head over to your router and sign into the actual router itself. Now inside here, you're going to have access to a bunch of different features. Now this is a Virgin Media router, which means it's quite basic, but it will still be able to give you the information of the wireless connected devices to this network and this router. You can see here, there's a list of them right here. And I've blocked out some of the uh, MAC addresses here, but you can actually see what devices are connected. Now you can go even further and find out more information about the device to see whether it's actually one of the devices in your local network or whether it's someone connecting from outside, maybe your next door neighbor or something like that. So go into advanced and also go into security. Yours may be different for your router, but you can go inside here and inside the security, you'll be able to uh, basically take a look at the settings. What I'd advise you to do if you find some sort of suspicious uh, device connected to your Wi-Fi network is to change your Wi-Fi password. You can also change the SSID for that network to make sure it's fully secure and no one can ever connect to it again. It can be a bit of a hassle because you have to go around and change in all of the details on all of the devices that are connected. The next one is to go to Mac filtering. Mac filtering is going to allow you to either disable, allow or deny any sort of device to connect to your local network here. So you can see we could set this up. Now we do have a couple of devices that are attached to my network which are unknown. Now this doesn't necessarily mean they are suspicious, but you can investigate more further by checking out what type of a, a device it is and what the MAC address is for that particular uh, device. And then we can go ahead and start to uh, block some of these if they are people that are connecting from the outside world who we don't want to connect into it and use our bandwidth up. So you can put a little check mark into these and there'd be the device name. You can name it whatever you like. And you can also see there is a MAC address for that particular device as well. So the MAC address is like a fingerprint for that particular piece of hardware. So if we go into advanced settings once more and go into security here and go to, uh, for instance, IP and port filtering, you can actually filter out what you want by your IP and ports here. So let's go ahead and click on this one here and we'll open this up and we'll take a closer look here. So inside the IP and port filtering, once it populates, you'll be able to see there is create a new rule. We can create a new rule for this particular uh, router here and we can then restrict internet access for this particular IP address. So we can go to create a new rule, click on this and you should now see here it says create an IP version 4 filtering rule and it says enable or disable. You can do this for all or UDP, TCP or UDP or single or range depending on how you want to set yours up. So you can put it right inside here and you can block it. And uh, it's that simple. Now this function used to be a lot more easier with the older generations of Virgin routers. You used to be able to have like a little check mark on a particular type of device and you could then block it via the IP uh, range. So you can see here, enable or disable UDP, TCP, and we also have also all or single um, range or you can block pretty much uh, port range also destination port range as well. You can see there's a load of settings inside here. This can be a little bit overwhelming for some people. So there is an easier option for you if you do have a Virgin Media router. But once you see we've got it set up here, you can see there is a, a timeline here. So you can make it uh, completely block from zero all the way up to 24 here. So let me just show you what you can do here. All you need to do is just drag the slider and it will tell you on the picture here. So you can just drag this slider up and you can see 24 hours, uh, it will block it for continuously. So it will block it on a continuous basis. It won't allow that person to connect. And that's how you can set it up. So there is no filter applied yet because I haven't set it up because I don't want to do it this way. I'll show you another way in a second. So you can always have it as always on or only want to restrict the internet access of this. 
So let's go to Mac filtering now. Just wanted to quickly show you the Mac filtering here, because this is probably going to be more easier for you to set up. So inside Mac filtering, uh, you can now see there is a bunch of uh, devices. It does say unknown here. So I can click on this device here if I wanted to. And this will put a check mark in it. It will say add filter rule. And now we can see the MAC address for this particular device. And uh, we can now block this by clicking add rule. So let's add a rule. This will apply these settings. It does take a bit of time, so be patient and let this uh, load up the page. And once we get here, we'll be able to add this in. So you can see there is unknown MAC address enabled, and we want to restrict internet access for this particular MAC address. And all you need to do is put the check mark in here, and then you can select the time that you want to do it, 24 hours, and you can do this. This will be every single day, 24 hours a day. They will not be able to connect. Now you can set different days as well. So if you want to allow them to connect only on a Monday and a Wednesday, you can do that also. And you can have them as a certain period of time that they're allowed to connect to. But now this MAC address is completely blocked and they will not be able to connect to your network. Now, of course, if this is someone who's connecting from outside of your network, like a neighbor, you would obviously need to change your password and also change your SSID and also block them that way. You can also use your antivirus program if it has some sort of network inspector built into it like ESET does. And this will also list all of the uh, connected items on your network. So you can see here, we're on a wired network here, but you can see it tells me the my router and it will say recently connected devices and it will give me a long list of devices that are actually mainly connected right now or they are connected in a previous past time. So you can go right through here and it will give you a long list of items that were connected. And this is a great way to find out what has been connecting to your local network. And you can see here Nintendo, that was a switch that was connected two days ago, and it gives you a full blow for blow what has been connected. You can click on these and it will also give you the MAC address for that particular item as well. And that means you could then go back over to your router and block it that way if you wanted to. It will even tell you the operating system that this NAS box was using, which is my local NAS or one of my NASs that I use on my local network. So you can see here, uh, you can't block it from here, but you can actually identify what is connecting. And this is great for weeding out malware and other types of rootkits that might be stuck on your system that are sending signals home and they're connected outside. So you can see uh, this is really useful. Now you can also use software like this one here, which will tell you exactly what is on your network. Wireless Network Watcher will also give you loads of information about what devices are connected to your network. And again, these will be actually connected and you can then also uh, do something about it. So let me download this and quickly show you what this looks like here. And uh, we can go ahead and run this on the network. And you can see here on this particular network, we can see we do have a couple of uh, machines running with a Wi-Fi connection here. And it will say first detected on and last detected on. And this is uh, today's date. So it will tell you what is connected right now and it's active, which means it is actually connected right this second. So you can be able to tell right up to the second when something is connected to your local network. So if your neighbor is connected to your Wi-Fi network at that particular point, you will be able to tell by having an active connection up there and you'll be able to get their IP and also their MAC address as well. Now, if you're on Virgin Media, there is also an app which you can put on your phone, which also allows you to connect to your router. And you can see here, Virgin Media have made this easier. Why they haven't added this into the actual um, router itself would make it a lot more easier. But you can see you can manage your Wi-Fi connections on an app. This will be able to allow you to connect uh, to the router and uh, also see what is listed on your Wi-Fi network and you can pause their connection or you can block them or you can disconnect them. Now, if you haven't got a Virgin Media router, that's no problem. You can still use software like Wi-Fi Guard. This will also allow you to uh, find devices that are connected to your Wi-Fi network or your local network and you can then uh, you know, block them. You can actually restrict them through this program here. Going to uh, the actual same process, it will restrict or block that device from your local network. So very, very simple 
There's plenty of other options available out there. I just wanted to bring this to your attention just in case you haven't got a Virgin Media router and you're on some sort of other network. Anyway, I hope this video has been some sort of use to you. That's basically how you can find out what device is connected to your network uh, using these methods. Pretty straightforward and easy to do. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Uh, just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Special shout out goes to James Cobb, Walid, Gigi, Rock and Roll Rebel, Welsh Tony, Michael Gadder, David Lees, PC Repair Tech, Edward Kelly, Albert Euston, Celtic Lad, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, and Geo Sam. I really do appreciate the support, and I shall see you on the Discord server for a chat. I'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks again, Porchy. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.